Team Canada's got it in the offensive zone. Johnson's got it along the wing. Keeps hold of the puck. Quick feed. Scores! That one's huge! Finally, finally, somebody's on the board here. They're able to get a goal. Now it gives them a late lead. When Patrick Waugh brought the butterfly into everyday goaltending, we all thought we were just going to shoot it over his shoulders all day. Turns out, that's not the way it goes, but it's become the default way to play. Sometimes you're dropping the butterfly like here. Finland's got it along the wall. Team Canada's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Fast. Sends it over. Oh. Scores! Good night! That'll do it, but they need it overtime, but yet come up with a big win. That's a lot of work for the points that they get gaining here in the overtime with the victory. You slug it out for all the regulation. Now you're looking for that one chance to put it away. We are far from done from this tournament for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Slabalski. We'll see you at the next game. Good night. Along the wall by LaRock. And here's the pass to Fillier. Breakaway! Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. Little short break and it's in the net. She's so good when the ice closes in on her. That's when she puts the puck on a string to dangle her way through the defenders. And then she finishes it off. This is a gorgeous goal. Her puck on a string superstar ability is that stick handling skill that she used to create that goal, guys. It's nice. Scooped up along the wall by the rock. Nurse is looking for a man out front. Hangs onto the puck. Here's a chance right in the slot. Scores! A go ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. Well, I guess we know what's on the clips tomorrow in the video room, James. The defenseman standing directly behind the net when the puck's out front before it gets shot into the net. Well, guys, they tried to bump her off the puck, but... Team Canada's looking to break out. Drives to the paint! Big save! Scores! They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and scored! Uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area, and the rebound is put away. Team Canada's now up by two in the second. They worked hard to push the end. And that one's broken up. Team Canada's in transition. Looking to end it, and they score! Time. They've got to be feeling really good, but when you give up a shorthanded goal in the extra frame, Ray, that's got to be devastating. Well, you just don't even really think that it's a possibility. You've got the power play, a chance to win, and then you burp up a shorthanded goal. Tough way to go down. As that's over. And they won't connect on that one. All alone! Scores! Oh, my, what a finish! If you're around her for any length of time, you see she's a born leader. She drags her team into the fight night after night. They are pumped on the bench that she scored this goal. Some people don't even try to be a leader. They just are. It's the way they play. It's what they say. It's how they do it. This is a great example of it. And I'm telling you, when she scores, that bench is so pumped. Positioning to turn it away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Ambrose. Scores! Bang, bang. Two goals in right around a minute 40. That sure changes things here on the ice. Yeah, the game has completely been turned upside down. 
She's doing the best she can to a puck she doesn't have a great look at. Dropping the butterfly, hope you've got the net covered. In this case, it's not enough, and it's behind her. Lots of time left play. Jenner's moving it ahead. Moves inside! Scores! And they are on a roll now, Razor! You can start to see this game's gonna run away if then. Goal scoring doesn't slow down here. She lowers the shoulder, now she's driving the net. But she's still got her wits about her to see that there's a better play. And that's that next pass. Now it's in the net. What a play. Guys, she's almost impossible. Here they come on the attack. Sends it across. And they can't convert to the play. Scores! Wow! I think there might be smoke coming from the back of the net after that one-timer. She's so good like this. Her power game is almost unstoppable. She's an unstoppable force. How are you gonna shove her off the puck when she's this determined? Pretty clearly they couldn't. Check to turn that over. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Stacy. Let's it go from the slot. And they score! I think this goalie's gonna look up at the clock and see just exactly how much time is melted away. It's going from bad to worse for these guys. Canada's got it in the offensive zone. Deflected shot, scores! The captain comes through! She's a born leader. I mean, here's a great example of it. Her zone ability is what she does that she does so easily inspires everybody else on that bench. When she scored, that bench had an electric charge on it. Guys. Moves the puck. Odd man rush. Sends it over. Wow. She scores! Oh, she's having a night tonight. Oh, the double dip. You get one, you look for two but you don't often get the chance to put it away. She makes the chance and then finishes it off. Be pretty hard to do this better than they did on the odd man rush. They move the puck, they move the defender out of the way, and then two passes and it's in the net. The from in tight. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Switzerland's got it in their own zone. Here's a chance. Team Canada's been pounding them all over the ice. Now they're trying to get yourself within shouting distance. Tries to the crease. Fantastic save. Off the tip. Scores. That's three. I had nine of these, James. It is such a cool thing to score three. You feel so good about yourself. It's not even the new style anymore. It's just the style. You drop into the butterfly, try and cover as much as the net as you can. You're playing the odds. She doesn't get it. And Doesn't exactly go tape to tape. Break away. Scores off the bull rush. What a beauty. She gets inside of the defense, and she's going to go right to the front of the net. No mistaking it here. She wants this puck in the back of the net. She's so powerful. She starts to drive the front of the net. It's like a big rig. How are you going to slow her down? The answer is you can't. Team Canada's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah. Nice zone entry from the middle. Wrist shot from the slot. Scores! That's how you draw it up with the extra attacker. Well, you've got the extra man, so you want to move the puck more quickly. You want to retrieve it with greater numbers. They do it all well, and they're on the board. Canada's only continue to extend the lead here in the third. Yeah. Sends a pass over. Look out, here they come on the attack. Scores! Oh, 
I'm loving the way they attacked on this rush here, James. Once they realized they had the extra man, they moved the puck quickly and the defenders just can't keep up. Canada's taking a playbook out of the Ray Ferraro School of Hockey here. Just these are in the right place, their sticks are in the right place, and they intercept another pass. Scores! Oh my, what a finish! If you're around her for any length of time, you see she's a born leader. She drags her team into the fight night after night. They are pumped on the bench that she scored this goal. Some people don't even try to be a leader, they just are. It's the way they play, it's what they say, it's how they do it. This is a great example of it. And I'm telling you, when she scores, that bench is so pumped. Can't the puck. Canada's won the draw and they'll go to work. Slides the puck over. Passes right to the Whoa. front. She scores! Quickly, two goals in right around 90 seconds. Buckle up, everybody. We're not done yet. She does good work here, James. Look at it on the highlight. She gets into the open ice, near the net, and knows there's no time. It's got to be a one-timer. Perfect into the net. Team Canada takes the feed from the goaltender. Looking to set up offensively. Let's the wrister fly. Scores! Well, you just keep working away. Your minds roll over and over and over. You hope to build a little momentum. One shot ties the game, and now it's a whole new ball game. And we are all evened up here. She's a born leader. I mean, here's a great example of it. Her zone ability is what she does, that she does so easily, inspires everybody else on that bench. When she scores it quickly over to the rock. In the second, second frame almost done. Well inside a minute now. Here's a chance. Whoa. They score. It's like she's playing the game downhill. Too strong for everybody else now. Controlling the puck, protecting the puck, getting into position, and putting it away. That's a beastly goal. Team Canada's got one back late in the second. How does that change things now, Ray? The ice. Canada's got it along the wall. Drives to the paint, puts it in, and it's a shorthanded goal! Oh, this is a really devastating strike to give up. You're on the power play, you think you're gonna get a goal, and now all of a sudden, You've got to come up with another one just to erase that. Oh, that's a great effort, shorthanded. They're just trying to keep the game close. Make sure their team doesn't fall back by two. But that effort allows them to tie the game shorthanded. That's great. Carries it in. Here's a short pass to... And they score! That's the game! Canada's feeling much better about themselves as they come away with the OT win. Well, they really pushed after it after nothing settled in regulation. They get the winner here in extra time. And the tournament rolls on for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you for the next... That pass doesn't go. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Sends it over. She scores! She can be effective when she uses her superstar ability, guys. And we saw it on the... Canada's won the draw. Nice speed at center moves up ahead now. Whoa! Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. That shot eludes the goaltender up on the blocker side. They don't like getting beat up there, James. It's one they think... They should be able to get a blocker or an arm, something on it. Here in the late going of the frame, Team Kenneth Vincent zone from the middle. Looking to set up offensively. Let's it fly! Scores! Oh my, what a finish! If you're around her for 
any length of time, you see she's a born leader. She drags her team into the fight night after night. They are pumped on the bench that she scored this goal. Some people don't even try to be a leader. They just are. It's the way they play. It's what they say. It's how they do it. This is a great example of it. And I'm telling you, when she scores, that bench is so pumped. Here in the late goings of the period, the next got a hold of the puck. Tries to the paint. Big scores. the tie. I wasn't sure if anybody was going to be able to start to change the momentum of this tight game. She lowers the shoulder, now she's driving the net. But she's still got her wits about her to see that there's a better play. And that's that next pass. Now it's in the net. What a play. Team Canada's gone up by one here late in the second. Really good effort. That goes right out of the zone. Canada's got possession of the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Rister. Whoa. It's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. She gets that puck on a string, and the defender's reaching like crazy, trying to get it off. Can't do it, and she won't miss when she gets in close. Guys, she's got some of the quickest hands in the league. We know how good she is. Your team's ahead. You don't want the puck going near your goalie at all. Hey, we're going to see in the replay here, James. Her save selection is to drop in the butterfly and hope that she can get her hands up quick enough. That's not the case, and it's on the board. Team Canada's a save. And this one comes to an end. Ray, these women have stayed focused here, and, and they're one step closer off to the semis now. Yeah, you can only climb the hurdle in front of you. They've done it again. They've spent so much time preparing for this tournament. They look like they're hitting their stride. Nice sign of respect by both groups of women here, but Ray, obviously a dejected group at one end of the ice. There's so much focus put into this tournament, you just never picture that it might end. Yet it does in this handshake line. As the old saying goes, on to the next one, on to the next one. He's Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next tournament showdown next time. Into the offensive end now. Right out in front. Can't connect. Puck grab by Jenner. Let's it go. Scores and they get it back. Now back to level square. You want them to be as aggressive as possible. You've got the other team reeling a little bit. I don't know if this is the hardest shot ever, but this is a quick release. Beats the goalie low glove side. And both sit across to Ambrose. Canada's on the attack. Centering pass. Wow. They score. Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. She used her superstar ability to get an assist on the play, and the whole squad is buzzing after that goal, guys. She's really put herself into this game. Puck scooped up by Lo Gets the glove on it. Canada's got the puck. They go on the attack through center. Here's a chance. Score! 
seems to be no way to stop them. They got one, and it seemed like the momentum just changed so far in one team's favor. It's a snowball effect now. She doesn't take much time here. Well, you don't have much time. You're close to the net, and that shot's delivered quickly, and it beats the goalie. Now that's just a... Receives the pass. And that's off a stick. Find some space in the corner. And now it's grabbed by LaRock. Shot, and that's the hat trick! Listen to this place! And here come the hats. I love this tradition, although I will tell you, they collect the hats up, they used to give them to us, and you're like, what am I gonna do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. I'm gonna say that's a positional goal against James. She decides to drop into the butterfly. But that opens up the top of the net. She can't get there with her hands to stop it. She's got to dig it out of the net. Canada's all dismissed that chance. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. Moves into the slot. Scores! It's in the back of the net. I think she shoots this more quickly than the goalie can get set for. Quick wrister, and it's in the net past the goalie. Team Canada's having a lot of fun out there tonight, but Ray, I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench. Yeah, half the guys are physical, and they've certainly scored more goals. This game they want never to end. And they can't convert to the play! Johnson's on the attack in the offensive zone. Wow. She scores! Oh, what a shot! One-timer. Timed perfectly in the back of the net. Pretty clear the goaltender's not expecting this shot. That defensive zone turnover results in this quick shot. Beats the goalie low. Team Canada's added to their lead here in this third play. And this one's all over. Ray, the way these women have attacked this tournament, they've played like Valkyries, just dominating, and now they're off to the finals. Does that mean they've been really sharp? I don't know what that word means. Norse history, buddy. Norse history. They've been terrific, and they're getting better at the right time. One will play on, and Ray, one is going home. You try so hard in this tournament, and you know at times you're going to have to maybe win a game you shouldn't. They just couldn't put it together tonight. However, to move on in the tournament is a great accomplishment at this point. And the tournament rolls on for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We'll see you for the next game. Good night. She ends up right in front of the net where she puts this away. Team reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Canada's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. She scores! Oh, what a play shorthanded! She takes advantage of some open ice and scores a shorthanded goal. Not much chance for the goalie here. That turnover's burped up and now given right to the other team. They get to reload their offense, and they take advantage. Top bends into the net. Rudy can up with the stick in the defensive end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Scores! They are on fire! Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. Ha! Huh. Better to be lucky than good. This thing bounces around and somehow evades the goaltender. I don't even really know how that ended up in the net. 
Here in the later stages of this period, upping lead, they have been in control right from the start. Nice start winning the draw here in scores! This is unbelievable! It's turning into a lot for four straight goals for them as they take total control of this game. The offensive zone faceoff gives them the jump on puck possession. Shortly thereafter, it's in the net. That faceoff is the key, though. Team Canada's quickly filling up the highlight reel shows. Count. And a great heads-up defensive play here. Goes right to the crease. Scores! Oh, my, what a finish. If you're around her for any length of time, you see she's a born leader. She drags her team into the fight night after night. They are pumped on the bench that she scored this goal. She's a born leader. I mean, here's a great example of it. Her zone ability is what she does that she does so easily inspires everybody else on that bench. When she scores down a bunch, they'd like one bounce to go their way, but not there. Let's it go from the slot. Fantastic save. Canada's got the puck near the back end. Passes right to the front. Scores! That's back to back, Ray. Well, the, the game has changed. Those two goals here really have changed the outlook. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Team Canada's on fire tonight, and they show no. The funny part is this is the oldest thing in the book for a shooter. Shoot her way over the net, and then she checks her stick like that's the problem. Champions are being crowned, but man, that's got to be tough for the other guys at the other end of the ice right you now. Worked so long, so hard, and if you don't win, you get nothing for it. Nobody really wants or cares about who's in second place. Tears of joy at one end of this handshake line, Ray, and tears of just absolute dejection at the other. Well, you try so hard, you work so hard, you think so much about the tournament, and there's only two ways it can go. Unfortunately, at one end, it's not very good. And that concludes this year's edition of the Women's World Hockey Championship. So much drama from beginning to end, and let's do it all back again next year. Take care.